What's up guys? We're gonna talk about how to clean Swede. We're gonna do it in a quicker fashion than my last video. If you find this interesting, please be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, all that happy horse dung. Here I have a customer's pair of shoes. These are Nike SB Dunk Low, uh, I don't know. Border blue, okay. Border blue, definitely could use a cleaning, could use a suede cleaning. Uh, some stains here, some stains here. There is a, there's like some blue in the back. We're gonna tackle all that. First things first, take the laces off. Here's some water. Some Castile soap, mix it up. Get some bubbles up in that piece. And toss them in there. Gent nice gentle soak. Okay, nothing harsh, so I don't expect to have any frizzies. A lot of times you use uh, bleach or just OxyClean, Shout. Use that kind of stuff. It's gonna make it white, but it's also gonna make it frizzy. We wanna try to keep the frizzies away. So we'll just let that soak while we're doing everything else. Okay, so step one in suede cleaning. Take your favorite sneaker cleaner and get it the f out of your face. The only wet stuff that I would ever put on here is something that's gonna dry fast, something alcohol-based. Do not wet your suede, okay? These brands are gonna tell you that you can use them. And you know what? You will get some dirt off. But when it's dry, it's gonna be water damaged and you have a new problem. I do wanna put a uh, shoe last in here. Shoe trees are fine. You don't have to have a shoe last in order to do this, but it helps. Gives you a nice hard surface to work on throughout the whole shoe, not just the front and the rear. So first thing we're gonna do, scratchy scratchy. Basically what I'm doing is I'm taking something metal that has a 90 degree blunt edge and scratchy in every direction. What I'm doing is I'm bringing up all the nap that's matted down from being uh, water damaged and dirty. You wanna go in every direction. You do not want to press too hard. Think about this as the fur and you don't wanna scratch it down to the skin. Okay, you just wanna scratch the fur. This is gonna take a while. Now what I use is a cuticle pusher, but you don't have to use a cuticle pusher. Anything that you have that's not sharp, but has an edge. Let's say a pair of tweezers. You could use the tweezer edge. Something that has an edge, a nice metal edge, but it's not a sharp edge. That's why I say blunt. Okay, off camera, I did the other one. I guarantee you this is the longest step, especially uh, in the beginning. Step three, brush with a medium nylon brush. I have links to some cheap ones in the description below. Step three, erase with a Hadag eraser or an eraser that has some grit to it. Link in the description below for this one. Only do the suede. You don't wanna be pulling up leather or anything like that with your big Hulk muscles. Next step, brush with a medium strength nylon brush. Next step, I use a fine eraser, one that doesn't have a lot of grit. This one I got at Walmart and I have a link in the description below for something similar. Next step, you guessed it. Try to keep your area clean if you can help it. You don't want to end up laying your shoe on its side and right back into dirty stuff. Next step. Now I use the suede brush. Suede brush has two sides. I use the ribbed back eraser first and then the nylon and brass second. Now, I love this part because it, you really see those lines come up. It reminds me of like when you vacuum a rug, the indentations that it makes. It shows you that a lot of that nap is up now and it's moving around and it's looking a lot better than it was before. Now, if there's any edges or corners that you can't really get to with this, there are some other options that you have here. It's still the same eraser material. So for instance, this part of the vamp here, I usually use this corner here to get in there. But you could also use that seashell looking corner too. 
it's a little bit rougher. This part's always a pain to, to tape off, to paint, to clean, uh, but it's just part of that classic design and it is what it is. Same thing inside the swoosh here, especially if the swoosh is some kind of material that I don't want to touch. I'll use that seashell end here. I don't know what you call it, but it's kind of shaped like a seashell to me. I'm starting to see that blue again. It's finally starting to come up. So a lot of the sneakers that you work on that are suede are dyed. You need to temper your expectations as to how much the color is going to come back because a lot of that dye dulls out no matter what you do. If it's very, very, very faint, you might consider using a suede dye. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see a demonstration of how to use suede dye. Now, the brush. Now I need to raise caution about these brass bristles here. I believe that these nylon ones are here. They do help with moving the nap and everything, but I think they also help protect spots where you don't want brass to uh, touch. I have to assume it's brass because copper is expensive. It can discolor certain materials, especially TPU which you find on a lot of Jordan 4s. So you want to stay clear of, of those kind of like plastics. The ripstop material on off-whites, you also want to steer clear of that because it will discolor that material. So we got that movement back, as you can see. We're looking good now, as far as the movement goes on this pair. But we should work on the uh, hard stains now. First thing that I'm gonna do is unconventional to uh, most, I think. I picked this tip up from a journeyman shoe repair guy. Sandpaper. This is 600 grit. I don't like to go lower than 600 for suede. You can go down to 400, uh, maybe even 320 for new buck. But if you use a harder grit than 600 on suede, you're gonna turn it into new buck. That's not something we wanna do. We just wanna remove the the stains, the hard stains. Looks like we got some sauce or something here. It's red, a lot of red. I mean, it could be blood. I mean, maybe my customer murdered somebody, but I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't snitch. Cops show up here and they want your shoes for an investigation. They better come with a warrant. And if they do come with a warrant, I'm, I'm running. I'm running with your shoes until they catch me. Would like to mention some caution. Don't work too hard in the one spot and don't go back to that same spot too many times. Some spots are not gonna come up. You don't wanna make a bald spot. Next step, rubbing alcohol, a microfiber towel. If you're using a spray bottle, obviously label your spray bottle, especially if you have young children. I just squirt a little bit on there and I go to the hardest stains. And this is as much as I like to wet suede. Even though it's quick dry, it's still gonna show water damage look. So you're gonna have to score it again. Now just let them sit for about an hour. Okay, it's been an hour and I'm going to bring that nap up that we wet with the alcohol. So back to step one with your edge. This funky looking eraser. When you look this up, it actually is called a suede brush, but it's not really a brush. It's silicone, I think, or, or rubber, shaped in a way that could give you nightmares. And this is probably my favorite type of erasing tool. All right, I think we're looking really, 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 really good. We're looking real good. Okay, now I'm gonna do my thing with the other stuff that I do for my customers. That has nothing to do with the suede. Clean the bottom, clean the tongue, and then the laces, steam them and put them back on. But since this video is not about that, we're just gonna cut to the final result. Hit it. 